So, the first storm of the season is on its way to the UK and is likely to hit here tomorrow. Storm Agnes is likely to generate its strongest winds around the Irish sea coastal area with gusts of up to 75 miles an hour, 120 kilometers an hour. The storm was named after a deep area of low pressure developed in the Atlantic, enhanced by some energy from ex-tropical storm Ophelia, which hit the northeast coast of the US over the weekend. The Met Office has issued yellow severe weather warnings for wind from 12 o'clock lunchtime on Wednesday through to 7 o'clock on Thursday morning. This has the potential to cause travel chaos with bridges closed and ferry services cancelled. There may also be trees coming down and power supplies being cut in some areas. There's also a potential for injury and damage to property. The crux of the storm is likely to be on the second half of Wednesday afternoon and through the evening. As of Tuesday morning, the Met Office has upgraded its warning to include threat to life or danger to life to be uh, more correct. And the upgraded message said the likelihood of impacts has been increased particularly across Northern Ireland, Southwest Scotland, West and Northwest Wales, Cumbria and Lancashire. Storm Agnes is the first named storm of the storm naming season, which runs from September to August the following year. Storm Agnes's influence on UK weather is expected to diminish later on Thursday as it weakens and moves further north. Following that system, rain will move into southern areas late on Thursday and into Friday, with some heavy bursts possible for some areas of England and Wales. The Met Office says, however, as we move towards the weekend, a ridge of high pressure from the south is expected to bring a period of more settled weather though some showers could continue in northern and western areas for a time. So there you have it. If you're thinking of taking your boat out tomorrow, I should cancel that. Um, I won't be going out on a boat tomorrow, that's for sure. Don't forget to subscribe for any more updates on this situation.